Operation Criselda Lewis joins us live from Witz. Uh, Criselda, running battles and violence like we haven't seen before, and we're getting reports that students have now moved off campus. What can you tell us? Well, Natasha, at this stage, a group of students have moved off campus. So one of my colleagues is following that crowd as they march through the Bromfontein uh, CBD. But uh, also here on campus at the moment, uh, we see a group of students who are also uh, regrouping. Now you can see the large police contingent that's also remaining here on campus trying to guard the area near the steps uh, to the Great Hall. The situation on campus much calmer at this stage after those running back between police and the protesting students. You must recall that the, the institution had said that it will allow students to protest but in designated areas but we really saw things fall apart when students went from lecture hall to lecture hall removing uh, students and lecturers after the university had indicated that uh, it wants the academic program to resume again today. That was met with massive disruption as expected. Students had been saying since the weekend that they they plan to disrupt any academic activity that resumes here at Witz University. But on campus at this stage, uh, a very calm situation. Police are on standby for any eventuality. But what we do know at this point is that several students have been arrested. There's absolutely no indication at this stage exactly how many students have been arrested and exactly what charges they will face. A bit earlier on, two students were arrested after one of the laboratories uh, where some students were studying. Um, that was also flooded by the protesting students and we saw the university itself condemn those acts saying that they would need to make a decision now on how the university plans to move forward. Will this university decide at the end of the day now to cancel the academic program for the remainder of the year? We heard on Friday from the Vice Chancellor Adam Habib that that will be the absolute last resort that uh, the academic program Wits University says has to continue because of uh, the ramifications of uh, what would affect uh, up to about 37,000 students at this point. There had been a police helicopter that had been hovering. It is actually hovering uh, uh, much towards my left at the moment. It has been the eye in the sky to try and assess the situation here on the ground. But uh, certainly the situation here at Wits University certainly seems like it's far from over. Some of the students there singing uh, some songs and uh, are basically saying that they will continue with their action until one of uh, the uh, uh, the government officials or perhaps government at this stage uh, does announce free education and free education now so that's what they've been calling for all along at this time but Natasha I can certainly tell you that the numbers in terms of police I have said this before are absolutely unprecedented I think since the beginning of uh, this protest action we're into the fourth week now we have never seen so many police officers on the Wits University main campus but I guess the management itself will indicate that that was necessary given the level of violence, the escalation of violence that we have seen here on this campus. In terms of the numbers as well, you would know that the students from uh, the Parktown campuses, the education campus and the medical, medical campus have also joined the protest action here at main campus. So the situation at this stage, Natasha, I can certainly say as far from over, it, it certainly does remain volatile, but police are on hand to deal with any eventuality at this campus. Chriselda, just take us back to those earlier clashes. What exactly happened? Because it was very peaceful when we crossed to you and then suddenly the rocks were being thrown. So what exactly sparked it? Well, Natasha, straight after students had gone from lecture hall to lecture hall, disrupting the lectures uh, that had been taking place and re forcefully removing students and lecturers from those lecture halls, they then decided uh, to come to the steps of the Great Hall and uh, demanded to go inside Solomon Masangu House. Now, you would know that uh, the uh, security, the private security hired by this university had been manning the entrance uh, to the Great Hall since very early this morning. and the 
university had indicated that students were not going to be allowed uh, to go and caucus inside Solomon Mashlangu House, there'd been some sort of countdown before we saw students throwing stones at the private security personnel. And that's absolutely when we saw the, uh, the, the, the violent clashes between the two sides. It had absolutely gone out of control. And that's when police really had to step in. But one of the most... Uh, uh, I wouldn't want to say amazing uh, um, uh, 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 shots of visuals that we saw there, Natasha, but we really saw uh, uh, defiant students when they stood in front of two nyalas uh, that had been trying to disperse the crowd of thousands that basically stood in front of those nyalas, refusing for those nyalas uh, to, to go past, uh, uh, to, 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 to move towards these students. And that's uh, exactly when we saw the police also pepper spray uh, some of the protesting students and that's where uh, we saw the students then pick up a lot of bricks and uh, really throw them towards the private security personnel so uh, this obviously unfolded after they were denied access to Solomon Mashangu House which the university says should be the case given the escalation of violence that we've seen at Wits University so at this stage students will not be allowed the security personnel that had been manning that entrance since very early this morning remain there while the police moved to various uh, areas around the campus and tried to ensure that the students don't regroup on the various uh, 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 the west or the east wing side of the campus so the situation at this stage Natasha I can clearly say is exceptionally volatile and uh, the university would really need to decide on what way forward would be because this morning we did see some of the students who had come to the, to the, the lectures and wanted to resume the academic program but once that got started and we saw the protesting students gather in front of on the steps of the Great Hall, then there was a clear indication that they would march to every single lecture hall and the scenes that we saw there was them forcefully removing the students and the lectures from those halls. Chris Elder, thank you very much for that update. We'll leave it there for now and of course keep a close eye on, on the situation there. Chris Elder Lewis, live from Wits University.